Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this spooky Halloween text animation inside of Filmora 12. So let's get started. Okay, first we need to add text, so go to the text, then I add this default title to the timeline. Then I customize it like this. Okay, then we need to create our liquid texture. So first I add an adjustment layer to the timeline. Then go to the effects tab, select Boris FX, select warp. Then I select BCC turbulence and add it to this adjustment layer. Then go to the effects settings and change the scale to get more rougher look. So I change it to something like 18. Then I change the intensity to something 250. Okay, then go to the distortion settings. And I use this master value to create our liquid texture. So I use a low value for this, something like 5. Then we need to create this to like flow down. So I go to the Y displacement and change it to 1000. Then select Y reference level and bring this texture a little bit down like this. Okay, then go to the texture geometric settings, and I increase the aspect value to 500. Then I change the offset X value to 30, and the offset Y value to 65.5. Like this look. Then make sure to change warp mode to on, and enable this improved noise mode. Then we can change the noise type here, so I change it to smooth. Now you can see it gives a nice liquidy look. So you can change different liquid styles here. So I keep this to spline, then go to the turbulence, and I change the value to something like 2. Then go to the turbulence settings, select turbulence aspect, and I need to change this to a more trippy look. So I set the aspect value to 50, like this and also turbulence mix to something 20. So I thought increase these a little bit more, so I change it like this. Then we need to create this to flow down. So go to the animation settings. Then I change this flow rate to something like 40. Now you can see it's starting to flow. Then we need to change the flow direction. So go to the flow direction, and I change it to 180. Now you can see it flow down like this. Then you can use morph. So I change the morph start to minus 100. Okay, now our liquid texture is complete. So then you can save this adjustment layer by clicking this save as custom button. Then you can use this texture for your next projects. Okay, then we need to export our liquid texture. So I export it like this. After that I added my exported liquid texture to Filmora here. Then I delete this adjustment layer. We don't need this again. Then I drag my text layer to third layer. So now I like to create a simple background to this. So I go to the stock media, and I select this purple color, and add it to the timeline like this. After that I need to another color to this, so I select this black color, and add it to the second layer like this. Then I select this layer, and go to the mask. Then I select this circle mask. After that I change this to invert, and blur strength to 100. Then I increase the mask scale to something like this. Okay, now our background is complete. Now we need to customize this text layer a little bit more. So here I change the text color to this nice green color. Then I go to the advanced settings. And enable outline. Then I change the outline color to black. And outline thickness to 13. Then enable shadows. And I change the shadow type to this. 
blur amount to 0, and shadow distance to 7. Then click apply. Ok, now we need to add our liquid texture to this, so I add my liquid texture to the top layer like this. So then we need to remove this black area. So go to the effects tab, and search remove black background effect, then I add it to this layer. Ok, now it looks like this, then I like to adjust some colors on this layer. So go to the color tab, select color wheel. Then I change the colors using this highlight and mid-tone color wheels like this. Then go to the basics, and I change the temperature to minus 100, tint value to 100. Ok now it has a nice pink color. Also here I change the exposure value to something minus 9. Ok now it looks perfect, so then I like to add some drop shadow to this. So I enable drop shadow, and change the angle to 154 degrees, shadow color to black, blur amount to 0, opacity 100, and distance to 1. So then you can increase the quality of your liquid texture using this auto enhance. Also here I change again this drop shadow opacity to 80. Ok then I unhide my text layer, and bring it to the top layer. Then I select my liquid texture, and adjust the position like this. Ok now it looks like this. Then I like to add another liquid texture on top of this text layer. So I add it like this. So then I like to change the thickness of this texture. So first I drag this to little bit up, to show you the difference. Then go to the effects settings, and I use this effects threshold value to change this texture thickness. After that I reposition my liquid texture layer. Then I wanted to change the color of this layer too, so I change it like this. Ok, now our animation looks like this. But here you can see the liquid texture goes through the text outline. So let's see how to fix that. So here I take a copy of my text layer, and paste it here. Then I change the text color to white color. Then take a snapshot of this. After that I delete this text layer, and add the snapshot layer to the timeline. Then I select this layer, and go to the compositing. Then I change the blend mode to darken. So now you can see it didn't going through the text outline. Ok finally let's add some glow effect to this. So first we need to add an adjustment layer, so I add it like this. Then go to the effects tab, select Boris FX, select stylize, then select this RGB edges effect, and add it to the adjustment layer. Then go to the effects settings, and here you can change which type of glow you want. So I select highlight, then you can adjust the light direction here, so I change it to 175. It gives a nice glow look like this. Then select the light elevation, and I change it to something like 100. Then scroll down, select pre-blur, and I add blur a little bit. Something like 6. 
And also you can create a simple animation using this apply mix setting, so I create it like this. Okay guys now our Halloween text animation is done, here's the result. So guys this is the how to create an awesome Halloween text animation using Filmora 12. Also if you need to learn more Filmora tutorials, you can check my Filmora tutorial playlist, I have done so many tutorials about Filmora, you can check that after this video. So guys thanks for watching this tutorial, I hope you enjoy this. Also please leave a like this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment about this video, and what tutorial you like next, so let's meet up the next video. Take care and peace.